Hello friends, this is Deepa Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to see very simple everyday menu that compresses of a dal rice. Bayangan masala roast. Plain yogurt. Pickle. Very easy to make simple menu. A delicious one. So first we will see how to make a dal rice. So here I have a pressure cooker with 3 4 cup of uh, rice and uh, half a cup of tor dal. Just wash well and soak in water for 20 minutes. The measurement of the water should be uh, like you know 3 cups of water for rice and half a cup for dal. And uh, to make a masala paste for this dal rice, into your blender add 7 uh, pots of garlic and 2 red chilies half a teaspoon of pepper corns, one and a half teaspoon of cumin seeds and uh, you can add a little amount of water and uh, grind this into a smooth paste. So we have a masala paste ready and now we will see how to make a dal rice. So I am placing a pressure cooker in one stove. By the time it starts to boil, the masala paste also will be ready and we will add into the rice. So into the another stove, I am placing a pan with uh, 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. Once the oil is slightly hot, add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, spring of fresh curry leaf, around 10 pearl onions, peeled and uh, roughly chopped half a teaspoon of turmeric just to mix well and fry until the onion become light brown in color and now add one and a half tomato chopped since this is a small one I add, add a two if you are using a big one then one tomato will be enough so you may add a little bit of salt and then cook this tomato until it becomes soft So the tomatoes are soft now and now I am adding the ground masala paste that we made. Mix it and cook it for just 2 minutes. So it, the masala is slightly thickened and now add this into the pressure cooker. So you can see the rice has uh, started to boil. So I am adding masala paste inside. Give a mix and uh, since we did not add salt to the rice and dal, I am going to add salt. So the salt should be little bit extra that way once it is cooked it will be perfect and I am adding 2 teaspoons of ghee. Give a mix one more time check for the salt and if everything is perfect you can cover it with the lid and uh, pressure cook for 3 whistles on medium flame. Now we will see how to make bayangan masala roast or brinjal masala roast. So here I have 6 brinjals which are cut into small cubes like this and I put them in a water so that it will not get discolored. And here I have a non-stick kadai over stove. Uh, if you use a non-stick kadai probably you don't need to use a lot of oil because for bayangan roast we are going to cook the bayangan that is brinjal uh, only with oil not with the water. So if you want to use a less amount of oil then uh, use a non-stick. If you are using uh, aluminium or iron kada you have to add at least 2 tablespoon of oil but if you are using a non-stick just 1 tablespoon of oil is enough. So I have added 1 tablespoon of oil, little bit of mustard, 1 green chilli, some curry leaf and a very little amount of turmeric and then add the brinjal. And uh, since we are going to uh, make a roast, it is must that the brinjal needs to hold the shape. For that reason, it is not recommended to use a spatula for mixing. You have to hold the kadai like the way I am holding and then you have to flip them over to make sure that the oil is completely cover that brinjal. Okay, don't use a spatula for mixing. So now I am adding salt. And give a mix, I mean the toss one more time. 
making sure the salt is well mixed and then you can cook it on a medium flame for uh, 6 to 7 minutes until this brinjal is half done. So meanwhile I will show you how to make a masala paste. Into your blender add very small piece of cinnamon and just one glow. And then um, 5 pots of garlic, 3 tablespoons, oh sorry, half a teaspoon of fennel seeds and 3 tablespoons of freshly grated coconut. And 1 teaspoon of sambar powder. So sambar powder means it doesn't mean you have to use only for making sambar. It can be used for making some uh, veg masalas. It tastes amazing. So you don't need to add any water while uh, grinding. Just grind without water. That way you get a nice coarse powder like this. You know the moisture in the coconut itself enough for this masala. If you add water it will be like a paste and you don't get that perfect texture in the roast. So don't add water while grinding. So the masala paste is ready and uh, this brinjal also cooked half. You can see. And I'm going to add that masala paste inside. You can see how the brinjal are holding the shape after it cooked also. So that's the reason I told you to toss it instead of mixing it with the spatula. So after you added the masala, just to toss one more time. And then you can uh, drizzle in a teaspoon of oil to cook that masala paste. Okay, I'm adding oil now and then give a toss one more time and cook it for 5 more minutes just to uh, get rid of the draw flavor from the masala by the time the bangan also cooked and this is done. So you can see the brinjal shape is holding perfect right. It did not mash up. So that's how it look really nice and tastes good. So we have our delicious brinjal a masala roast ready. And uh, the pressure in the cooker also completely down. You can see I'm just going to fluff it with a fork. Wow, it smells so good. Now our simple everyday lunch menu is ready. So we have dal rice ready and also buying a masala roast. I just can't stop myself from eating it. It's so delicious. And then um, I personally love to have this rice with uh, some yogurt and also some pickle. And over the rice you can drizzle off some ghee. It tastes tanning. Or you can also have some papad fryums along with it. And this rice is uh, one of our family's favorite rice. So please try it uh, once. I'm sure you're going to be loving it. If you like this recipe, remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.